Okay, everybody, welcome back to Breslov of Friday. Achira David, Boch Hashem, another successful. We had a really nice menu today, right, David? Uh, we had 20 some odd people. It's unbelievable. Boch Hashem. Kane, Kane, you do, right? We have a shalachim for the first time. Wow, this Boch Hashem. A million's on the map. A million's on the map now. That's it, it's on the map. It's on the map. Boch Hashem. They know about it in Beta. Boch Hashem. All right, so um, so Baruch Hashem. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, learn a little bit today with Siyata Deshmai, of course. Mkuti Alochas Hilchas Natilas Yedayim Shach Mes Gimel, and today we're up to letter Hey. All right. David, Sasha, you have your place. David, you have place. Everyone has a place. Yeah. Okay. Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. So here we go. So now let's remind remind us. So we're learning. We're learning this whole lima is based on the, the lesson. Um, um, uh, pay base in in uh, Tinyana, and the Rebbe said over there that that's really the idea of Rosh Hashanah. Why? Because he said that Shalik is Seder is Tashrak, right? Tashrak we said is backwards, so we said Tishrei. Remember, Tishrei is also Shalik is Seder. So the whole idea is bringing you back to Seder, and that's what this whole topic is about. So the Rebbe starts off for here now, and he starts off and he says, "Is El Bechinas Rosh Hashanah?" Wow, <laughs> see that. We didn't say Tachman today because we're still in the month of Tishrei, right? And we still, so we're so Baruch Hashem, we're reviewing a little bit now, right? We're going back a couple of weeks. That Bechines Rosh Hashanah, Bechines Tekiah Shoifer, the blowing of the Shoifer. True Bechines is Oiris Hashem. So we all know the the Shoifer is there to wake us up from our spiritual slumber, as it says, Ur Yishenim Yishinaschem, right? Right, that's what the, the Chazal bring that all the time. And when you hear the shofar, it's to wake you up from your spiritual slumber. And that's why we start blowing the shofar at Elo, so we can get ready, prepare ourselves with tshuva, and so on. Wow, look at this. Rosh Hashanah is an aspect of shena. Rosh Hashanah is an aspect of sleep, not physical sleep. You're going to see, you're going to see, you're going to see soon. Don't worry. We're going to say, really, I'll just, I'll just, I, I just have to, I'm going to give you a preview so you'll understand what he means by sleep is we have to put our word, the same way we learned, that we go to sleep, we put our mind at ease, and we rely on the Rabbi Nishalayim. The whole idea of Rosh Hashanah is putting away side all of our thoughts and everything, and it's just about being Mam Lech HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So when he says over Yashem, it means, it means I'm not thinking, I am putting my own thoughts aside, and I'm really focusing on the Rabbi Nishlam. That's an aspect of sleeping. You see, he says it's a bechina of Shana. He doesn't say it's actual Shana. No, just because before we were saying that Shana is something... Not, no, no, not no, 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 exactly, thing. exactly. Someone, but here we're going to use it, we're going to use it in, in, a, in, a, in a beneficial way. Here we're going to use it in a beneficial way. You'll see. So as, 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 as they, okay. By Yedei HaShoyfer, who bechina says, Oyvis HaShoyna. But then on 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 uh, Rosh Hashanah, <coughs> right? So b- before Musaf, we we blow the shayfa, right? Then we blow the shayfa. So it's, uh, the whole idea is an idea of shayna, where I put my own thoughts aside, and then I hear that shayfa, and the shayfa puts me in the zone. The shayfa puts me in the right zone to understand, and I recognize the malchus of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Keep a Tishrei nevroilam, because we know that the world was created in Tishrei. But really, we said that the world was created really in, 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 on the 25th day of, of Elul. It started the first day of creation. But why was it Tishrei? It's considered because Adam was created on Rosh Hashanah. Adam and Chava were created on Rosh Hashanah. And because that was the whole tachlis of all, the whole creation. So therefore, it's, it's, it's put down that, 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 that Tishrei was Nivroim. Because that was the whole purpose of creation, was to bring Adam and Chava into the world. Shazel Bechina Shalaik is there. And that's the idea of Shalaik is Seder. In other words, like we said, Bechinas Tashrak, where the month of Tishrei, where the month, of, the, the spelling of Tishrei is, uh, is Tov, Shin, Re, Shud, which is going backwards. It's not Kiseder, it's backwards. So that's the whole idea, is Shalaik is Seder. But when I can wake up, when I can wake myself up, which, which, which sleeping, which he said is an aspect of like you say there, So here we go. This is I know it's a, it's a it's a it's an interesting lashon, right? Let's 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 examine it. But Now, when you get into that zone 
and now you're in the aspect of shaloi kisei. You know, is when when you when you when you when you be me mis oira. Bechina shaloi kisei. You're getting out of the loi kisei. The oz trichin bechina shein the levatel atzmai legamri. You understand? It was once you're st- starting to get out of the the, the ideas of the chachme atevi. You're trying to get out of the world. You're trying to get into the right zone. You're trying to get into the idea. So what you're doing is you're w- withdrawing. You're withdrawing from the shaloi kaseder. And how do you do that? You use <laughs> you use an idea of shena. The same way we said during the night. Let's go. Let's review. The same way that we said when we the day goes down and the, and the sun is setting. So then we, that's the Seder and it's going into Shalai Kiseder. So then I go to sleep. So here the whole idea now, when I am in a, in a zone in my mind, it, because, because of the whole year we're working and, and we're, we're so involved with the world and everything. But when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, I have to zone, I have to, I have to re, re, withdraw from that. I have to withdraw from that. I'm, that's a Miss Irish Shalai said. I'm getting rid of the Shalai said The Oz Trichen, I need now, I need sleep. What does he mean? He's going to explain. He's going to explain. One second. The same way when I go to sleep at night, I'm not thinking and I relax and I rely on my Amuna. So too over here when it comes to the time of Rosh Hashanah, at any time we want to feel this, any time during the day that we have a, a, a Bil Baladas, any time, we can do this any time. Just, rem- just, 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 so to say, relax your mind and realize it's all Hashgachas Hashem. Relax the mind and recognize it's Hashgachas Hashem. Any time we can do this. He owes by Rosh Hashanah who Yom Rishon shall Aseris Yimei Tshuva, right? Rosh Hashanah is the first day of Aseris Yimei Tshuva, right? We have 10 days of Tshuva. Rosh Hashanah, the first two days of Rosh Hashanah are day one and two of, Rosh, of, of the Aseris Yimei Tshuva, right? Then you have, then you have uh, uh, Tzayim Yedalia and then you have uh, Yom Kippur, right? All, it's, 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 really, it's really a short, okay? Ve'ika Tshuva hu loshev mi godless. Here, this is the main point of the lesson. The main point is to remove, to, to return back from a person, his state of godless, where a person feels gaiva, gaiva, high, ego, ego, yeah, yeah, yeah. Umashbil atzmai, the person has to lower himself, hum, humble himself. Ulahar gishtif lusay, the person has to recognize his true, his true uh, place in the world, his shiftless, his low, his upechusay bamis. He has to recognize his, his real state. The person has to know and has to be honest. We have to be honest with ourselves. Who are we really? Because like, like Chazal say, Yehideya inish binafsha, right? Everybody knows who they are. Everybody knows themselves. So when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, when it comes to that time, we have to recognize, wait a second, really, who am I? Really, where am I holding? Where am I holding? Kika tshuva hu achnov shiftless. Because the main thing of tshuva is lowering oneself to a place of shiftless. But this is not shiftless where a person feels, this is a special shiftless. This is not, let's understand this, this is not where a person, you know, feels, uh, uh, you know, they, he goes into depression and all of that. I'm not worth anything, I'm useless. No, 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 no. We, we recognize how great the Rabbeinu Shalalim is. We're recognizing the greatness of Hashem. And based on that, I realize how low I am. You understand? It's not that I lower myself that way. In other words, I make Hashem greater. I realize the Shekhinah much more. I recognize the Shekhinah more in the world. I recognize that. And by doing that, I recognize, oh, so, so really, what am I? So really, what am I? That's what he means by shift. It's not in a way that it should put the person in, in, in to, to bring a person to Atzmus. Never. That's not shiftless. That's not what we're talking about. Look at this. If a person can lower himself down in his own heart, look at this word. Lower yourself down one rung in your heart. One rung. Just go down one rung. You think you're somewhere? Lower yourself one. Shall Adam Yosef me mea malchus? It's better than a hundred lashes. How do you like that? This is this is a Gemara and brachas on Zion Amid Aleph. The Gemara says if you you lower yourself in your heart from one level, you think you're so that, 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 and you lower yourself in the thing because you recognize how great the Rebbeinu Shlom is. That's greater than getting a hundred lashes. Pretty good, right? Right. Absolve yourself from a hundred lashes. What? Good trade. That's a good trade, right? 
Kemaisha Kosov, Oiva Pesha, Lesheris. As he brings the Pasik in Micha, Oiva Pesha, who is the one that can be Oiva? Who could pass by? On the on the pesha, who can who can who can be the one that that'll forgive the the the, the, the willful sins? Lishayrus, a person that feels like he shares. What shares? A remnant. A person he feels like he's a remnant, like the shares of Plata, right? We say this in the Shmanes, We talk about this, right? If a person feels that really I'm I'm just a little tiny thing in the in creation, right? Sasha, the other day you told me. That we looked up that there was uh, 10,000 stars for every granular of sand. 10,000 stars. So what am I? So what are we? If there's 10,000 stars for every granular of sand in the world, so then what is a person when you recognize these things, right? So who is that? To someone that can make themselves like shrayim, like leftovers. You know what that means, right? Does we, should we explain that more? Or do we, do we, does that need explanation or we understand that? What? what? Okay. Nimsa. She'ika tshuva, he anova v'shlifla. So now we understand that the main thing of tshuva is anova, right? Humbling oneself and putting oneself in the right place to recognize where we stand, where we really truly stand. Ki kola chatoyim, nimshachim v'china shalaykis seidah. Because all sin... All kind of sin comes from the place of Shalai Kaseda. In other words, Anna Emlech, like we said, what is, what is Shalai Kaseda? Anna Emlech, I run the world. Everything goes the way I want it to go. Chas Shalom, when a person says that, so then that's where all the hate comes in. Because he, he removes the rebellion. He's taking over the covenant for himself. He's taking it for himself. Have a good, safe trip, Dabi. We'll see by the Rosh. What? And it's a shame. Wow, it'll be Givaldic. We'll see by Rosh. Oh, that'll be Givaldic. <laughs> and it's a shame. We're going to have a nice trip today. And it's a shame to Rabbi Shem. Baruch Hashem. Now, I know you day godless. Through godless. I know it's when a person has, puts himself in a place of godless, that's the worst thing that we can do. Like the Rabbi Nishlam says, you know, there was, a, there was an expression, there's no, this town isn't big enough for the two of us. You know, there's such an expression, right? This town ain't big enough for the two of us, right? So the Rabbi Nishlam says, this world isn't big enough for the two of us. Right? If a person has godless, because really, and really godless is a silly thing, because then in Shemayim, if a person makes himself in godless, they say, hoo, 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 hoo. They, 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 he puts the spotlight, the spotlight on himself. And then they start to, to study, who, who the heck is, who is this guy that makes godless for himself? Because the God, the, really the covenant is all for our Kaddish Baruch Hu. Oh, you're taking covenant to your, Oh, you're taking covenant? <laughs> so then the, he shines a spotlight of din on the person. So this is really not a good thing. That's where all din comes from. Because again, when the person brings, brings himself to a place of godless, he brings din upon himself. That's where din comes from. Mishama Chizas Ayetzara, and that's where the Ayetzara sets in. Vaklipas Shemehem Kola Chataim, as we understand the Ayetzara, the Klipas, right? All the husks of impurity of the world, the Ayetzara, that he has us engaged with all the husks of impurity, right? All comes from this idea. That's what I'm not saying. You see this in all the Svarim. This is not a, a this is not a Breslov concept. This is by all Svarim, and everyone understands this. That if a person has if a person has gaiva, the gaiva will bring the person to the wrong places, right? Because again, if a person has gaiva. Right, so he always has to show up. He needs, he needs more things. He needs this and that, and the other thing. So it brings the person to steal, right, and everything else, and it's the worst things possible, right? We have in the parsha this week that it says mipnei chamas, right? Rashi says, "What was mipnei chamas? Zela, right? Zela." So Hakadosh Baruch was upset about everything that was going on in the world. There was there was a, what he called avodah There was shvichas damim. There was there was a, a, all all kind of promiscuity. There was all kind of things. It says Hashem's kol basa. You read that today, right? Uh, 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 what does it say? Kol basa. Rashi says that even the animals were not going with the right animals. They were they were doing their own. They they they, they, they were doing things also. But what did Hakadosh Baruch attribute the whole thing? Bifnei chamas. That's it. Thief, th- thievery in the world, if there's theft in the world, that's the worst thing. And then perhaps that's the reason why on, on, uh, on uh, Ne'ila, when we're finishing the Shmoy Nesre, we keep talking about asking our Kodesh Baruch Hu for forgiveness of theft, any theft that I had. Any theft, it's, ca- it's constantly repeated in the Shmoy Nesre. Why is that? Because again, if I get forgiveness for theft, 
So then I can have forgiveness for everything else. Because theft is what brings the din on. And where does that come from? A person that's godless. When a person is great, he has to show off. So then he's going to have to take and take and take and, and, and so on, right? That's, uh, I think everyone understands that. Ki kol ha kilu if someone has gaiva, as is, is, it's, it's as if is he served foreign gods. The Gemara incited daf dalid amid base. The chol hamayde ba'avayde zara kilo kaifa be'bechol atayra. And if someone that's made in an avayde zara, right, they're serving a, an idol, foreign idols, foreign gods. So then that they're a kaifa, of course, in the whole atayra, because the whole the first the, what was the first what was the first of the of the of the uh, commandments? Anoichi Hashem alekecha, right? Anoichi Hashem. And if we under we, we go about against that, so then of course we're kaifa in the whole atayra. And through godless comes all chatoim. Because when a person takes, makes godless, really everything is supposed to be seder. Everything is supposed to be seder. But he's taking the shalik is seder, he's being machalik it, from, the, from everything being seder, recognizing the recognition of HaKadosh Baruch Hashkoche in the world. Shemisham kol achatayim, and that's where all the all the sins come from. Yaki nika tshuva al yedei kol achatayim, who who shiftless. So therefore, the whole tshuva, all tshuva of all chatayim starts begins with shiftless. A person has to lower himself, like we said. If a person lowers his in his own heart one level, it's as if he had a hundred lashes. Unbelievable, right? She yosim atzmei keofer lodush. The person makes himself like dust that people that people can walk on, that people can uh, can step on. a person recognizes his own level, his own true worth. he recognizes how far away he is from Hashem. Right, the person realizes, and that's the most beautiful thing. You know, whenever when whenever you speak to somebody that's not involved in Torah, they think they know everything. They think they know everything. But then when that person sits down, he tries to learn a little Torah, he realizes how he knows nothing. Right? The Yetzirah makes us believe that we know everything. It's part of the godless. It's part of that. But when a person, when a person can really understand and he sits down and he tries to learn a daf gemara. He tries to learn, he tries to learn, you know, even a, even a Rashi, anything. He tries to learn, he'll realize really, what do I know? And they'll put the person, it'll humble the person. That's what the Torah can do for us. And to lower himself and break his heart in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Look at this. And then HaKadosh Baruch Hu will forgive him. Unbelievable. If a person has a broken heart, if a person has they won't make fun of this. This person is special by Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do you think it's there? If the whole thing is about shifla. What's taking God's life? The whole idea is to be mashpul to, per- to lower the person. It's it's one program. Shaka, you, you see it, you're right? You're seeing it more and more, right? Ah, uh, Look at the words. Whoever places himself to be like Shirayim. If a person makes himself like he's mamish nothing, like what did Moshe Rabbeinu do? What did Moshe Rabbeinu say? Moshe Rabbeinu knew more than any Jew will ever know. He had a closer relationship to the Rebbein Shalom than any Jew will ever have. Correct? But what does Moshe Rabbeinu say? What am I? Who am I? Unbelievable. Then a person can bring himself back to say that. In other words, so the whole idea was we said that the month of Tishrei is Tashrak, is Shalai Kesedah. And when a person is lowers himself and he brings himself back and he recognizes how great the Rabbeinu Shalaylam is, ah, by doing that he lowers himself and that's his answer to come from the Shalai Kesedah to bring himself back into Seder. And we can do this every day. 
Whenever we think we see things in our life are not going the way we want them to, recognize the greatness of our Kaddish Baruch Hu. And by that, we will, we, will, we will then lower ourselves and then we take ourselves out of the gather of Shalai Kiseida and bring ourselves into Kiseida. We could do this at any time. Shu Bechinas Ma, which is the Bechina of Ma, which you said is what? Ma, what is Ma? Ma is 45, Gematria of Adam. Which is Seder, which is the, which is the Yudke Vavke Bemili Alfin, right? When we fill it up, it's 45. By a day's end, it's Patlin, Kola, Dinim, and it all din can be, it can be a nullified. Shehem Bechinas Chatayim, because all din is Chatayim, and the Chat can, the, the Chatayim can be forgiven, and the person can go from the, from leave the, the gather of Shalaiki Seder, and come into the, into the realm of Seder. And this is what we're all striving for. How came Rosh Hashanah who Yom Rishon last Eretz Yemei Tshuva? So now you may want to always ask to yourself why if, if, if Rosh Hashanah, the whole idea is to be Mamluch, the Rabbi Nishleilam, so then why is that the first day of Tshuva? Because there's no Tshuva mentioned on Rosh Hashanah, right? In the whole davening. You don't mention anything about Tshuva. You don't mention anything at all. On Rosh Hashanah, no. No, 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 in the time, okay, but no, 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 but the whole theme of the day, the, all the tefillahs, except for that, that was added later. That was, a, that was, that was much later. That was not added, that was not from the, from the, when, when, when the tefillahs were set up from the Yachtek and Eslach, that was added much, much later. Okay, that was added much later. But the whole theme of the day is not tshuva. The whole theme of the day is being mamlech the Rabbi Nishlein. The whole theme of the day is to be, but the theme of the day is to be Mam Hashem. We're going to see what, just one second. Yom Rishon Lebriyas Adam Rishon. That's the first day of Briyas Adam Rishon. Oz Tzrichin Bechina Shena. So now you need to have sleep. What does that mean? Why would I need sleep? Shul Bechina is Bittal. Sleep is Bittal. Sleep is when I nullify myself. In other words, I'm not thinking. I nullify myself by going like we go to sleep at night, right? You nullify. You're not. You know, you, know, you don't know what you're not. You're not cognizant of what's going on around you when you're asleep. So it's an aspect of bittel, correct? You mevatel yourself when you come into the idea of Rosh Hashanah as if you have no das. I have none of my own knowledge. I just I just push put aside everything. That I thought all my ideas, all my my all my stuff, I put it aside. Rak soyekin Hashem is Baruch. We cry out to the Rebbeinu I'm Shlem. Amlichen oisa is Baruch. Bitmimus gomer beli shum chachmas. We just we just we we're simple. We we make ourselves as simple as we can, and we just want to connect to the to the oneness of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, to the oneness of the the Rebbeinu Shlem. To the Malchus of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, the Li Shum Chachmas. In other words, I don't need my Chach. Chachmas is not about Rosh Hashanah. The whole idea is to be simple, simple. Keep Rosh Hashanah Nivra Adam Bechava Sheshoshem Bechinas Kaseidah. Really, Adam and Chava created. Really, it was they're supposed to be. They were created Adam and Chava. Chava was created. We said Shalai Kaseidah, but she was created with Adam. Because the Shalaik you say this is always supposed to be continued with the with the Seder. Right? Seder Shalaik you say that. The Haim Hayu Tsrichim the Sakin is Kole Lama Sayade Avaidasam. And like we learned on Shabbos, right? We learned the idea that they could have made a tikkun for the entire world for everything with their Avaidah, had they have done and followed what the Rabbi Shalom told them to do. They could have included themselves in the Klolius Kolay Lomas. All the worlds. Shayim Bechina Shalai Kisei, the Bechina Kisei, they could have taken the whole, all worlds that are Shalai Kisei there. Why, like, like David was learning before in the Tanya, what did he say? He was saying that really every time, that really in the world of Atsilas, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's light is, 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 is the most, is the most pronounced. And then when it goes down, when it goes down to the, to the, to the world of, of, uh, Bria, so from there, when it goes down to the world of Bria, it, it comes, it comes into, it, it is Tzimtzum. This tzimtzum, whenever there's tzimtzum, that's like you say that, right? Anytime he goes to Yitzira and Asiya, it's more constricted, more constricted, so then that's shalai you say that, right? Every time we do that. But, lichlo ba'em bechines chava ba'adam, where chava would be included in Adam, when we said when chava connects to Adam, she's like you say that, and she connects into Adam, ba'oz ha'yad nasa ha'kol kesedah, and everything would have been kesedah. 
So instead, what do you see? What do you see happened over there? Hashem Yisbarach asked Adam Arishan what happened. So he said, well, you know, you gave me that wife. <laughs> right? So he, he kind of messed that up over there, right? And it was the fact that they ate from the tree, that was one thing. But they could have made that tikkun, the tikkun could have been made just by saying, I'm sorry. They could have just said, I'm sorry. And then what does Chava do? Instead of Chava, you know, connecting back to her husband, what does she do? No, it was the snake. She connects to the snake. It was his fault. That was the whole idea. The whole thing they could have been, they could have connected themselves together and brought Tikkun to the entire, entire creation, all worlds. So when, when, when we go down, it's Locus Seder? Hmm? In the world, it's Locus Seder? It, it, it's be, no, when, when, not when we go down. Like, Baruch, as he goes down into the world, there's less, there's, there's more tzimtzum in each world. As we go down, there's more tzimtzum. The tzimtzum is Shalai Kaseder. Okay? And then all the worlds would have been running Kaseder. Everything would have been so clear. The godless of HaKadosh Baruch would have been so clear. Belishum Yisurim Vedinim. We could have avoided all the Yisurim and Dinim, all the pain and suffering. Shein Bechina Shalai say because really HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants everyone to have everything good. Everyone should have everything that they need. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't want any Din in the world. He doesn't want any of this. But but it's in the world because again, the Shalai Kaseidah. And all we need to do is we constantly have to make the repair of the Shalai Kaseidah and bring it to Kaseidah, to bring it to Seidah. Aval heim pogmu bechatom. But they sinned with their sin. They made a blemish with their sin. By they they're free do they made a separation between the shalak and say the beginning of the And then they they they, they, they took the shalak and say then they took it away from the say then they made it wider. Ki ikka khatam haya ide beginis godless beginis on the am life. What did the snake tell? What did the snake tell Chava? Well, you know, Hashem is a God and He uses this tree. He had ate from this tree. And this way he, he became godly. So if you eat from the tree, you'll become godly. And that's why Hashem doesn't want competition. Isn't what the Nachar said? Right? Hashem doesn't want competition. Right? So you eat from the tree and that's why He told you not to eat from the tree. So what is that? That's an aspect of Anoem life. I'll rule. I want to rule. Right? Does it make sense? Yep, so the, the Abuida is to, to Muslim, to take the Logos Seder and to bring it into Seder. And how do you do that? By saying it's Hashem, not by saying I'm going to rule. When I say I'm going to rule, I know I'm like, like we learned in Pei Beis. So then I'm taking, I'm <laughs> separating myself from my brother's book. I'm taking from the Seder, I'm taking, I'm making it like a Seder. I'm doing the reverse. Instead of taking the like a Seder and including it with the Seder, I'm taking from the Seder and I'm bringing more Seder into the like, Shalaika Seder. Chas for Shalom. And that was the main uh, seduction of the Nachash HaKadmaini. Unbelievable. That was what the Nachash said. Remember those words, right? Yeah, yeah, you're going to be godly. You'll be godly. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You see, it's so beautiful. Rabbi Nassim puts it together. It's unbelievable. Because the, the craftsman hates other craftsmen like him. Ki uman, uman is a, is a, is a craftsman, right? The same people are in his crowd because maybe one guy's more talented than the other one. So he'll make a better, let's say they're, they're, they're silversmiths. So this guy will make a nicer piece than the other one. He can, he can make it more ornate than the other one. So he hates the other guy because he's going to make him look bad. Unbelievable. Because the Nacha said, because Hashem ate from the tree, and that's how he was able to create the world. That's why we're here. Because he ate from the tree. That's what the Nacha said. And the Nacha entered into them. He entered into Adam and Chava. This idea of kinna, of jealous, of hate, jealousy, and taiva, uh, the, the lust, the limlechless guys to be to be a haughty and, and, and to, to rule. Kemaisha kasu sham. 
Beisim keleikim yoytzrei elamis. The same idea. So it's making sense. Does everyone have any questions? Any comments? No. Wow. We have a good, easy class today. Okay, good. Why do you have to remain? Why do you have to remain? Why do you have to remain uh, 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 low and bottle to our Kaddish Baruch underneath Hashem? Eat from it and you'll be a king, just like the Rabbi Nishalaylam. She calls it Ubechinas Anna Emlech. That's all the aspect, like you said, Shaka, like you just said, Anna Emlech. I want to rule. She writes it, Laham Shech Bechinas Malchus Laatzmai Chas Vishalom. They want to take the Malchus for themselves, but really the Malchus belongs to the Rabbi Nishalaylam. It's not to anybody else. And it's our job to be Mamlech Hashem, always. And how do we do that? By recognizing Hashkocha in our lives. And that's how everything became like Seda. And therefore, Misa, Misa was, 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 uh, 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 what word do you want to speak? Was, was, uh, uh, decreed. Oh, Koshkoyach. Misa was decreed for the Dairis. Because they made a Pagam in this idea of Seda. Shu bechinas chachma, which is chachma. We said what is chachma? Kayach ma. Remember we said that kayach ma. What's kayach ma? It's a call a kaddish baruch hu. Kayach ma. The kaf ches. Remember we said kaf ches. We did say that yesterday. We went over that, right? Kaf ches, which is twenty-eight. Fourteen joints in each hand together make fourteen, and fourteen is twenty-eight. Kayach. Kayach is is twenty-eight. Correct. So chachma is kayach ma. I understand any kayak that I have, anything is that I have, any wisdom that I have, any any abilities that I have is really Akadish Baruch. I attribute it to Akadish Baruch. That's that, that's the one of the most beautiful explanations of what Chachma is. Kayak ma, kayak ma, Chachma, kayak ma. Shemisham kol hachios bechinas Chachma tichya. A chachma tichy, like we said, chachma is what gives the person his vitality to live in the world. Why is that? Bechinas ma, mechayenu, mechazdenu, matzikasenu, ma Yeshua seenu, ma like we say in the davening, right? What, what, what do I have? I have nothing. It's all you, Hashem. It's only you. It's ma. Veheim pogmu bazer veefridu atzma bechinas kaseidu bechinas chachma. They took themselves out of seidu, which is kaya, which is chachma, which is kaya chma bechinas ma shu ikar achias v'alki nimshah chaleya misa heipech achayim. And therefore, misa came about to the to, to humanity, which is the opposite of what life is. What's life being connected to the rabbi nishlam? Because the rabbi nishlam is infinite, right? Al King Gamru Janasa Kol Shalaika Seid, and then they made everything that should be Shalaika Seid. They in Bechinas Kol Adinim Vagzeris and Nigzu Al Oila Al Yedei Chatam, and all of the Gzeris that were that, all the decrees that were the decreed on the world through their sin. Kamei Shekasu Shem Be Itzva and Taichlena Vekoitz Vedar Dar Tatzmiach Loch. What does that mean? You'll eat, you'll eat uh, via the the itzva and teichlena with with depression. Will you eat the kites vidada and thorns and thistles? Tatsmiach, tatsmiach lecha will will be will will grow for you. That's what you're going to have in the world. Well, perish Rashi. So what does that mean? When you're going to grow, you're going to grow, you're going to try to grow uh, wheat. And what's going to happen is you're going to get thorns and thistles instead. That's an idea of Shalaika Say. Right? You plant one thing, but you get something else. Who wants thorns? What are you going to do with thorns? You can't eat thorns, right? So that's Shalaika Seder. No, as I want Seder, I plant the wheat. I need wheat to make my bread, to have my sustenance. I need that, but I don't get that. I get the Shalaika Seder. Ad Shegarmu al Yedei Chatam. It all came, Shalaika Seder, Shegarmu al Yedei Chatam, Shoye Bechinas Godless, because the whole idea came from Godless. Bechinas Ona Emleich. 
Now I want to rule. And that's what the Nachash said into them. Shayadei said, Nasa kol shalai kaseid, and everything was made to shalai kaseid. Al yadei shehim shechu aleyem bechina shalai kaseid, because they drew upon themselves the lai kaseid. Al yadei chatam, through their sin. V'loi dai shalai tiknu asaylam. It wasn't enough that they didn't fix the world. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't raise up and clarify everything. Well, Bechinas Hadinim and Echazim, Bechinas Shalai Keseder. In other words, they didn't do that. They didn't make, they didn't fix the Shalai Keseder and bring it up. Lichla Hakol Bechinas Keseder, which is what they could have done. It's nice that we're saying that now. I mean, we, we, you know, we're, we're looking at what they did then. They're like the Monday morning quarterback, they say, right? What? It's 2020, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I understand. But okay, Baruch Hashem. You know, one thing I always, I, I was always curious is so why, why do we have to, why do we have to always pay for the mistake that other made, right? Why, why are we, why are we paying for it? So I, I saw once in the Kisvei I read that it really all Nishmas Yisrael, every Nishama of Yisrael was included in Adam Marisha. Every Nishama was part of Adam, and we didn't scream out to Adam, "What are you going to do here? Stop! Stop!" We didn't scream loud enough. Unbelievable. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable idea, right? Ah. And this is what we had to do, the, the tikka that they had to make on this day, that they were created. On the very day they were created, they could have made this whole tikka. On that very day. They didn't even have to go to sleep that night. They could have made a repair for everything. That's why Adam and Chava were created. To bring everything to its shirish. To bring the world to its perfect harmony. To bring creation to the perfect harmony that we're striving for today. To take everything from out of the gather of like all of creation that was like you say, because again, we said the further away things are, you have more tzimtzum. So to reveal the tzimtzum, to reveal the constriction, and to show, and to show that it's all the Rabbeinu Shalala. Unbelievable what could have been done. The light dai shalai tikna wasn't enough that they didn't make this tikkun and bring the world to its perfect, perfect harmony. Afgam kilkulu bazem oid ayadei chata, but they made destruction via their sin. Ve'akin ika asasa sanachas ayi mitchila lechava, and that's why the nachas came to chava. Now we understand it, right? Listen, listen to this. Why didn't the nachas go to to, to Adam? Why did the nachas go to chava? Because the chava is like you say that. She is like you say the Chava, the, her name is spelled Chava, which is the Ches, Vav, Hey, which is the Tashrak. So the world was made Tashrak. The whole creation is Tashrak. She like you say the Chava's name is She like you say the. So the Nachash pitches this idea to her because she's closer to the Nachash because it's like you say the. She doesn't, he doesn't go to Adam. Amazing, right? So how does she fool? Ah, uh, because 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 uh, Chava was made from uh, from Adam, right? Okay. And and then and then uh, what did Chava say to, to Adam? Hey, look, I ate from the tree. I'm okay. See, I'm good. So everything's good. Hey, enjoy. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, Rav Nassim will say it to us in his words, okay? Like we just explained. That's from where all the klipas, all the husks of impurity come from this idea, and the whole idea is to make Chava to be Mavatal to Adam, the like you say the Chava So what did he do? He attacked Chava specifically to seduce her because he was closer to her and he, he felt that he would have a better uh, success pitching it to, to Chava than he would with to, to Adam. Because he wanted to set, because he wanted to separate 
Chava from Adam. He wanted to separate Chava. She, you know, it's really Chava's whole job is to connect to Adam. So the Nachash wants to separate Chava from Adam because he wanted Chava for himself, right? Why? Right? What? Why? <laughs> Why did he want it for himself? He wanted everything for himself. He wanted, he wanted yeah. Chava for himself. What do you mean? He wanted <coughs> yeah, to steal yeah, Chava yeah. from Adam. Yeah, I, I know that. Okay. I've heard of that idea. But that's right. What and this Nachash was different. Mean. This Nachash is not the Nachash like we understand. This Nachash was able to talk, right? This yeah, Nachash yeah. was able to walk, have hands. He was supposed to serve them. No, I'm, I'm, right, right. More, more than that. A question is like, so when we see that we need, we need Chava, although she is Lokase there, but we need, we need her to be yeah, connected yeah. to Adam. Of course, to bring the like the Shlemus. So she needs to be connected to Adam because she needs Shlemus, right? She the needs she shlemus. needs to Odom connect to Adam. So, so what? Adam doesn't need Shlemus. Adam has. Adam is Adam is forty five. Adam is Ma. Okay. So Adam had Adam had a, a, a better connection to the Rabbi Shlom because of his name. Adam is Seder. It's connected mm -hmm. to the to the Yud Vavke Bemili Alfin. That's Adam, right? But Chava didn't. Chava didn't have that. And the Nachash wanted Chava for him for himself. But really, she was supposed to be connected to Adam, so that way she could take Shahar like a Seder and make it part of Seder from Adam. The same way the whole world was like a Seder, and it was supposed to bring the like a Seder of all of creation into Seder, right? So Adam didn't need her? What do you mean he didn't need her? He needed her to the, for the fact that she connects to him, that he, she connects him and then brings Tikkun to everything. We know that he needed her. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, no one will say, like, it's a Shlama, right? So that's it. Yes, okay, but, 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 but we're learning, no, 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 so, so one second. We're learning over here that really she needed other more than other yeah, needed that's her. Like, that's, that's what we're learning. Like, that's, how, that's how we're learning this. That she really, she needed Adam, she needed Adam more than Adam needed her. That's what it is. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She is Gabba Chatsu Shalom Bechinis Chava. Shiloiki Seda. Al bechinas adam kiseder. To so his chava should go against the like kiseder. Should go against the seder. Ad she adam yase rotzen chava until adam fulfilled the will of chava. Kidei le lehagbir bechinas should like kiseder chas v'sholem. So adam arishan takes the idea and he listens to chava and he eats from the tree. Chas v'sholem. Wow! 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 But afterwards he did tshuva. Why was that? Miyad. He started to make repairs for everything. And the tikkun will not happen until the saif. Until Mashiach Tzidkenu is going to come and be into in the world. So we understand one thing. So we'll finish with this over here because it's 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 uh, it's going to be too much to continue for today. But listen, we have we understand one thing. Adam Arishan, we know, lived how many years? Nine hundred thirty years, right? Really, Adam Arishan was supposed to live a thousand years, right? It was supposed to live a thousand years. And why is Reb Nassim right over here that he started making tshuva right away? Because why was his tshuva? He recognized that he's going to live a thousand years. And he saw, and he saw that there's going to be David HaMelech. But David HaMelech was supposed to be born as a naifa. David HaMelech was supposed to be born as a stillborn. <clears throat> David HaMelech is David Malka Meshich. So Adam Arishan, Adam Arishan said, wait a second, I need, I need to make tikkun. I need the tikkun for what I just did here. I made such a mess. I made such a mess. Rabbi Yisrael, can I give my life to, uh, to, to, to David HaMelech? Can I give my life to David HaMelech? The Rabbi Yisrael says, you can. See, he gave 70 years to David HaMelech. Amazing, huh? Wow. Amazing. That's what, it, that's what I believe why Rabbi Yisrael is right here. Aval achakar osu tshuva miyad. V'yizchilu l'saki nekol. He started to fix everything. How did he do that? Aval tikin layigma an ha-sayv she-yave Mashiach Tzitkeinu. Who's Mashiach Tzitkeinu? David Malka Mashiach Unbelievable, right? You want to say something? Sha, sha, okay. You have an idea? Okay. You can. Please. 
It's a chabura, right? We we have to we have we need, we need our discussion. This is what it's all about. So maybe I don't understand when Adam when Adam actually did the tshuva because I learned that there's a midrash that after Cain killed Hevel, yeah, Adam asks. This is based on the midrash. Adam asks Cain, what, "What's going what to happen?" Yeah. yeah, and he said, Cain replied, "Yeah, well, I, I did tshuva." I did. Uh-huh. And Adam said, "What?" <laughs> and right away he says, "Ms. Moshele Shabbat. Shabbat is the concept. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was all that same day. All, uh, the, 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 the murder yeah, took place. Every, no, it was the same day. No, David, uh, 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 Adam Rishon said, Nizma Shilia Shabbos, that Shabbos, the first Shabbos. Within, within, within the first 12 hours of his life, he said the Nizma Shilia Yom Shabbos. So with Cain also happened that day? It, everything yeah. happened. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, Kids on the first yeah, day. Yeah, David, there, there was no gestation. There was no gestation right, period. Right, right, right. right. So, so they had a kid and, and that was it. So yeah. Before. I, it, it's, it's very much because yeah. why I'm now saying that only because we know that he said the Ms. Mashiach that first Shabbos. That was the first Shabbos he said that Ms. Mashiach, the Yom Shabbos. That was the first Shabbos. Okay. And then we learned, and then we learned the first Matzah Shabbos he made the fire. And that's why we, that's where the whole Chachme Ateva comes about, because of that, because Adam made the fire. And then what do we do? We say, We say, Baruch Atu Hashem Lekeinu Melech Olam, Bairei Ma'irei Hashem, you are the one that made the fire. So here we're learning that I believe that we could say over here now that he, knows he did Tshuva Miyad, because he originally he gave, he gave the uh, okay to give 70 years to, other, to, to, to David HaMelech, and while you're doing that, his tshuva started right then and there, because he recognized he has to, he's responsible for this mess. What did he do? He, he was mashbul himself. He took responsibility. What do we say the whole thing of tshuva is? You take responsibility. You mashbul yourself one lower. You, you're lower. So he recognized, I thought, I want to rule, but I realize it's you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, at kach, that I'll give from my own life. I'll give to David Amela to bring final tikk into the world. So they both made true. Everyone made it's true. This also true. Huh? It's just like they both made true. Yes. True. Yeah, yeah. They both died in Chava. Huh? They died also. Kaya made true. Chava made. Everyone made true. And Metzah and we'll all be zayif. And they do true much labor with the seeing, with the coming of Mashiach, the Kara of Yemenah.